Oh my god. Oh, it's all down. Oh my god, it might be over. The whole thing came down. We were so afraid that might happen. Okay, hold on. Hold on. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. We are on a new patch now, so this is still the same playthrough, but it is a little bit of an update for the experimental branch, which means there might be some problems with the world. We'll just have to kind of keep an eye out for it, but it's day seven, seven day horde. A couple people said that their game stage resets. So we're going to check that. Looks like we're okay there. Game stage 18, level 10, 192 kills. That's right. Doing awesome. And zero player kills, zero deaths. Of course, there's no other players on here, so it's just me. So all is good there. We're going to get a couple things done today. I, what I want to do is, obviously, we got to prep for the horde. So we're going to do that right now. We probably need to grab all the wood that we can. We just kind of came out of the base, killed ourselves a rabbit, and started the kill some animals quest over here. So we got to watch for that. There's quite a few changes with, with this patch. So we need to really take a look at that. There are should be less animals, less wolves, stuff like that, which we are very happy about. I do not like the dogs or the wolves or any of that stuff. But so far, I haven't seen any other problems with our world, so I think we're good to continue to play through this one. Our plan here is to continue through this Alpha 19, and then eventually, we're going to go to, once it goes to a stable build, we're probably going to go to, we're going to try this thing called a Nitrogen Map. I, I guess it's the way to spawn maps in. It's a, it's like a third-party program, something like that. I've just barely started looking into it. Uh, a good friend of ours in the Discord, one of our patrons, has been telling us about it, and I'm really excited to try it out. And I've seen some of the maps that people have gener maps that people have generated using that, and it's got extra like new POIs and all kinds of cool stuff that we definitely want to check out. So let's grab all of the wood, minus just a little bit. I'm gonna grab. I should have been making spikes this whole time. Are we getting close to where we can make the workbench? Hopefully. Let's go workbench. How close are we to that? Forged iron, mechanical parts. I think we can do it. We didn't do it and forget about it, did we? That sounds like something I would do. Now we got the forge. So let's go. Let's see if we can get all the parts together here. So I need forged iron 25. Okay, is it this one? No, down here. Okay, forged iron 25. So we're just a little bit short there. And then we need mechanical parts, 25. Wrench, got it. Claw hammer, I need a claw hammer. Oh, that might be the one. Unless I have a hammer over here. Claw hammer, claw hammer, I don't see it. Oh man, that is not good. Okay, we are missing a claw hammer. How would I make a hammer? Here we go, hammer, claw hammer. To make a hammer, I need duct tape. Okay, we might be able to do this, let's see. Here we go. I can't. I don't have the resources. What am I missing? Oh, leather. Okay. There we go. Hammer now. Ah, we got it. There we go. In two minutes, we'll have a claw hammer. And then we should have everything we need for the workbench. We'll have that made up today. So claw hammer, wood, forged iron. We need more of the four. Oh, that used a bunch to for bunch, a bunch of forged iron. So let's go ahead and get over here and let's make some more forged iron. How much can I make? I can make six. Wow. It's not looking good. Uh, I think we got to do some digging, which I hate doing on a horde day because that's usually when they send a horde at us. It's just a wandering horde. And I don't have any clay in here. Oh, you're killing me, man. All right. Well, if we're going to be out doing that, let's at least make sure there's some more iron getting forged up or put into the forge here. So let's go like this. Uh, we're struggling here. What are we doing here? Oh, here we go. Okay. And let's go do a little bit of digging. I, man, I really don't want to be doing this today, but it's okay. We're going to get a little bit of this done, and then we'll be good to go. We'll go ahead and have lots of stuff ready. So let me do this real quick. I'll kind of fast forward through this. We'll get started today. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Definitely can't wait to get to the horde tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, let me dig up some clay so we can get some forged iron made. All right, we're going to go put one point into cooking because we do want to be able to cook a little bit better stuff. Let me see which one it's on here. It should be the chef or something like that. Intellect, maybe? No, maybe it's not perk book. Grease monkey, advanced engineering, charismatic nature. Let's see, not, it shouldn't be under agility. That'd be kind of silly. Fortitude, cardio, iron gut, healing factor. The huntsman, no. Strength, master chef is under strength. That makes a lot of sense. So we can do this, and that should increase some of the things that we can make now. Let me see, bacon and eggs. There we go. All right, so we can make three bacon and eggs. Let's get that going so we can get our food up. 
Go ahead and throw the eggs and meat back up there. And I think we're almost full on water. We're going to eat just a couple of these canned foods while we're waiting on the bacon and eggs. There we go. As long as there's no, no food poisoning, we're going to be just fine. Let's go ahead and put this clay over here. All right, like this. And take that back and put all the clay over there. And how much do we need per forged iron? Six per. So we definitely need a lot more of that. I really need to make a better shovel. We're kind of still working with this old school shovel. Can we make a better shovel yet? Iron shovel, yes. We just need more forged iron. So that's kind of the limiting factor on everything right now is we just don't have... Oh man, we just don't have a lot of forged iron. So all right, so it's time to get a bunch of that made up. And I didn't spend a lot of time digging these last few days because we were more worried about getting wood and stuff like that. So we definitely need to get ourselves fixed there. Let's go ahead and go with some spikes. So we're going to go wooden spikes. I can make 30, so let's make 25. Okay. All right, I'm going to dig up just a little bit more while we're waiting on the bacon and eggs and some other stuff to craft up there. And yeah, let's do it. All right, there we go. We have enough to make quite a bit of forged iron. There we go, 37, much better. So we'll get that made up, and then we should be good on... What else do we need for that workbench? Let me see. Workbench. We will need... That's it. There we go. All right, just waiting on the forged iron. How much do we have ready? I have four ready. So we need quite a bit more there. I guess we can do a little bit of looting. I think we're just going to do the gas station tonight. I was kind of debating whether to do this place here or one of the houses and I think we're gonna do the gas station it's really easy to set up a little bit of defense on the outside there so let's do that I do need to do a little bit of knocking down of wood so we can make a few more of the spikes so maybe that's the best idea right now how grown up are the trees that we planted not quite ready let's kinda of skip those we'll go over here and do these ones in the center maybe we'll do one of these houses right here but I don't want to spend too much time looting since we really need to kinda of just focus on getting ready for the horde tonight so, all right, here we go. Chop down tree time. All right, we're going to go ahead and run in here real quick. Let's do this. I'm going to knock down a couple random things. And I think we're just going to kind of take refuge on this other side. I'll show you in a second. Get over here. So right over here, we're going to go on this. So I'll put some little wood frames around the outside of this so we can kind of have a little bit of place to hang and shoot down. And then the majority of our kills are going to come right below this. So I think maybe right here would be a good idea to put a lot of the spikes here. So let's do this. Let's go wood spikes. And let's get some more spikes going. How many can we make now? Wooden spike, 31. So let's make another, let's go, just go with 15 for now. All right. That should at least give us a good head start. Oh, it's this weird placement thing. Okay. Maybe we will just place it outside of there. Okay, kind of weird, but it's fine. We'll do it like this. Place these inside here. There we go. All right, like that. Do it around the other side, same thing. And we'll just try to keep them over on this side of it. I think they'll start taking out this right here once they get a little bit closer. There we go. All right. Like that all the way around. Okay, because I think they're going to go for this beam a lot, but I, I don't know for sure. That's what they would have done in the past. Hopefully, it'll still be a thing. All right, like that. And then same thing this side. And then we'll just kind of continue to stack it out from here because I think this is where they're going to come a lot. I think. Maybe. Hopefully. All right. There we go. And is that it? That's it. There we go. So that's quite a few spikes just in that little area. Like I said, we'll try to fight predominantly off this. Let's go ahead and make our way in and to the top again real quick. Shouldn't be anything respawned in here, I don't think. We could probably break down that car. Hold on, where's the entrance? It should be a side entrance? I don't even remember now. Hopefully that doesn't explode. That doesn't explode, right? Alright. Should we break a bunch of this stuff down? Do you get much from it? Maybe we can get some of the forged iron that we need? I don't think so, though. There we go. 
Okay. I'm not really sure what you get from each one of these, so I'm just kind of checking. All right. Let's go back here. How about from this guy? Okay. Some decent stuff that we can use. It's funny how much wrenching takes out your stamina. I feel like wrenching is not that hard of an activity. <laughs> but I guess for the amount of stuff that he's getting resources from, I guess it is. All right. We gotta break this out. This is gonna take just a second. All right, so I'm gonna place these frames just around here like this, kind of like we just talked about, and this is just allow me to kind of build the point down and shoot things. We're gonna rely heavily on the shotgun for this one, and then during the next seven days, we'll probably switch to a different weapon. Or we'll just try to find a way to get more shotgun rounds. I haven't made a lot of shotgun rounds, but I know we can do that. So maybe we'll have to focus on getting a bunch of that done. Can I not get through here? Hold on. I'm going to break our way through real quick. No, we can do this. Here we go. Jump, jump, jump. Or not. Okay. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll place these down. And that will give us at least a, a little bit of a lip to kind of hang over and shoot things. That's all we're doing here. And real simple, the day seven horde is not anything to worry about. Once we get to a little bit later days, then it is a little bit stressful. But for right now, super easy. There we go. All right, and we could turn these into wooden bars. That'd probably be a much better idea. But for day seven, and we're not planning on using this as a continual horde base. We'll kind of have to see how we're going to do it. But there we go. Don't land on the spikes. There we go. All right, let's go back to the base place, get that forged iron, and I think we can make our workbench now. All right, we did hear the drop just now, but there's no way that I'm going to be able to find it. I'm not sure where it went to. Let's go ahead and get our forged iron, and let's make this workbench. And we have this, because we're still just kind of working on what we're going to be needing after the horde. So there you go, 3 minutes and 30 seconds. That one will be good to go. And it used our messed up wrench, which is great. All right, and then everything else we can kind of put back where we don't need it. Let's go ahead and put that up, that up. And we'll start kind of figuring out what we're going to take with us for this horde. Let's, how about the tree stuff we'll put over here? And then let me kind of just organize all this stuff. We'll figure out... What we're going to take with us, what we need, what we don't, and then we'll be back. All right, we are going to throw this next level into Lucky Looter just because if we survive this night, we really need to start worrying about what we're getting in the loot. So there you go. There's that level. Oh, we're hitting the wrong buttons here. All right, I think we're pretty much good to go. We've got the forged iron that's going there. Still a little bit more making up. Can we make more? I can make 79 now. Let's go ahead and make like 25 of that because we're going to need it for a lot of different things here coming up really soon. So this is what I'm going to do. We're going to kind of just hang out. I am going to continue to get our stuff a little bit more organized, figure out what we're going to take with us over to the Horde Knight. I think we're going to go with mainly arrows. So there's more iron arrows. And if I have a weapon to shoot some 7.62, we'll probably take that. Let me see. Do I have any other pistols or anything? I don't think we do. No, we don't have anything. Let me see what we can go get from the trader real quick. We've got just a little bit of money, and I can sell... A couple of these random different mods. Motor, water purifier I'll keep for now. All right, let me go see what we can sell real quick. And then probably the rest of the day we'll just hang out until the horde over there at the gas station. Like I said, not real worried about this one, but it could still be a disaster if we don't at least a little bit careful. All right, let's go get a little bit of food and water. We're going to go try out this little buried supplies real quick. Uh, let me see. We do need the beaker later. Let's not mess with that. Let's get a little bit of drink going. I'm going to take one more. Come on. Like that. Oh, the workbench is ready. Let's go ahead and place that down. Here we go. Finally, our workbench. Place this just over here on the other side. I guess right there. There we go. All right, so now we have the workbench. That'll help out a lot just kind of making some random things. And there are some things that are required to make on there, so that helps out. And then we're just about good on water. Let's get one more drink. There we go, wait, three seconds, two seconds, and bam, okay, that's good to go. All right, put those two back, put that back down there. Now we're going to go try this buried supplies. I haven't done it yet since this patch. I know that it works a little bit different, so we're going to have to see how it works this time. It's not like it was before. There we go. Let's get around everything. It's not like it was before where you just do the blocks and then you kind of go to the center of those blocks. The way that it works now is you have to dig a certain amount in order for the area of effect like that it shows you to kind of narrow down and get a little easier to find. So that's what we have to do. 
we got to go start digging it'll start narrowing down and then we'll eventually be able to find it you have to clear somewhere around 10 blocks or something like that in order for it to start narrowing down so we have to kind of see how it works but it's not real far away it's right around the corner i figure this is a good one to go knock out real quick uh we'll keep our bike close and we'll keep our shotgun on us so we can definitely uh get out of trouble if something bad does happen uh what is it like right on the other side of this building or is it okay hope it's on the other side of this building not 100 percent sure now there there it is okay there was also a drop that came down i couldn't see it i looked around for the plane and, and just did not see it it was somewhere behind all those trees i guess our spot's a little bit a little bit messed up with all the trees around it right now there you go all right so you can see the little area of effect on it, right? A lot of people have said that they don't like this new mechanic. I don't think it's that bad. It's a little different. It takes some getting used to. I don't think it's that bad. Let's do this so we can repair and repair. All right. I see the zombies over there. Got to kind of watch out. All right. So now you just go pretty much inside this circle and you start digging, right? We'd knock out 10 blocks or so and then it'll narrow down to where it's at. And they say it's really random in terms of where it's at. Whereas before, it was right in the center and you can kind of start guessing. And you could look at the ground and sometimes tell where it was at that way. But we'll do this. We'll just start digging and then eventually it'll narrow in from where it's at right now. So hopefully we'll be able to find it kind of quickly. So let's do this. Okay, there was a little sound and it said that it moved in closer. So you can see how this got just a little bit closer to the circle. And now we just keep digging a little bit further and then it should ding just a little bit closer. I don't know if you can find it before it goes down. Oh wait, oh I thought that was it. Looked like it kind of dug kind of funny right there. But we'll just keep digging like this. Yeah, it's somewhere around 10 blocks. I don't know the exact number, but it was definitely a nice little chunk right there. There's two, there's three. Should be getting ready to be the last one we should see the circle move in i think there it goes all right and it just keeps tightening like that i like i said not a not a big time fan of this but it's really not too bad i keep thinking that's it right there it looks just kind of discolored like it's the treasure how far do you have to go down to get this i really don't know but now we just dig inside this circle and then hopefully we eventually find it 10 more to go Okay, there it goes. Tightens in a little bit more. Hopefully we're going to find it here in a second. Let's just dig in this general direction now. There it is. There it is. Okay. So we go like this, and we take it, and then we run, right? It's still an attack thing? It is. Awesome. Okay, I wasn't 100% sure if they still did the attack thing. No ferals or anything, right? As long as there's no ferals, we'll go ahead and get the XP real quick. There we go. All right, we can save our rounds and get this done. If I see a dog, I'm out. There we go. Oh man, I hope they didn't take the the strength of this thing down. Oh man, did she not die? Okay, she died. All right, we're good. She did. We're good. All right, let's get this guy. There we go. Come on. Just trying to give me some XP real quick, man. I appreciate your contributions. Hopefully we'll get a good amount of XP at the horde tonight, but it's still good to get some more. Okay. Give me my arrows if you got any more. Alright, I guess that's it. I thought there was more. There's one way over there. Let's see if we can get a long shot in. There we go. Nice. Got him. Alright, let's head back to base. Okay, we can get a first aid kit or 9 mil ammo, 200, wow. Uh, I'm going to take the first aid kit, maybe? Yeah, let's take first aid kit. And then we'll take another job. We're not going to be able to get it done until tomorrow. We're going to take another buried supplies. That wasn't too bad. It seems like decent loot from it. And we got a couple things out of it. Oh, good. Corn seed recipe. Uh, now it's that's kind of a waste. We'll take that. Let's go ahead and put this stuff back in the base place. And then we're going to head over to the Horde night. And the next time I'll see you guys will be when the Horde is starting. And we'll make it through the Day 7 Horde. Shouldn't be too bad like I've said like three or four times. But since I've said three or four times that it won't be that bad, it might be that bad. Also, last thing before we do get to the Horde night. Uh, this did help a lot because now we've got a bunch of this. There we go. 
There we go. Make sure that's going for a few more minutes. And there you go. That, that definitely helps a lot because now we've got tons of clay in there. We just need more iron in there now. All right. Let's go ahead and do a couple things here, and then I'll see you over there. Here we go, about to start the Day 7 Horde, first Horde of Alpha 19. Really excited to do this. Ten minutes to go. I think we got this. It should be super easy. Day 7 is usually not that crazy, but this is the first one in Alpha 19, so let's see. The nice thing is we do have a light there, and we placed a few torches around just for a little bit of extra light so we can hopefully see a little bit better. Only really thing that we're open to is if we get any vultures. We're going to have to worry about those guys, but other than that, we should be just fine. Shouldn't have any issues. Let's do this. Here it goes. Yep. Horde Knight, which, which way are they going to come to? That's kind of a big deal. And I don't think there's any other entrance up on top of this building. I guess we'll be the first to know if there is. Aha, here we go. Good, good. They're coming from the correct side. All right. And they're going to go for that. Dang, I was worried about that. Okay. I probably shouldn't waste too many of that. Let's do this. So if I go back on this, do they run over here instead? Nope. They're just going to knock that out. Yeah, there they go. There they go. Here we go. Come this way, guys. Come this way. Come to the things. That didn't last long. It's a good thing we didn't fight from that. All right. Oh, reload. Come on, man. Well, that's kind of cool. There you go. Yeah, jump right there. <laughs> Get some free shots in. I'm a little worried they're going to take out this thing, but I think we'll be all right. All right. Here we go. Horde night. Oh my god. Oh, it's all down. Oh my god, it might be over. The whole thing came down. We were so afraid that might happen. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Everything's fine. That's why we left the bike right here. It all came down. We're not even an hour and some change in. Okay, so they did a much better job of attacking the, uh, the, the weak points of that building. So this is what I'm going to do. We're going to make our way back up top. Oh my god, look at that. That's a lot of iron, though. <laughs> That's a lot of iron we could definitely get back to. All right. Um... I have no idea, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Get inside. Okay. We're going to go like this. We're going to close this. We're going to go like this. Close that. And then we're going to get up here. All right. If nothing else, we're back on the roof. Oh, my God. We're going to die. Okay. Spike. Oh, my God. I can make two. That is it. Can I repair this at all? No, no. Not break. Repair. Doesn't look like it. I don't want them inside there, though. Look at that. Oh, my God. Okay, well, it started out as a really good idea. 
It didn't finish that way, though. I don't know if they're going to be able to get in there. I don't know, man. All right. <laughs> well, it was interesting. All right. You guys want to come out here again? I'm afraid to stand on that now. They took out that whole thing. Look at that. I want to go out there and break that. All right. Um. Yeah. Now we just kind of hang out, I guess, and figure out how we're going to do this now. All right, we kind of just hung out until the end of the horde. Looks like it's good to go. Let's be still kind of on our guard a little bit. We're going to come down here. We're going to get our torches back first off. We're going to go ahead and check the bags that got dropped. Here we go. A couple books. Let's take those. Urban combat. Okay, what does this one do? Learn how to jump and land quietly. Okay, I like it. Go ahead and pick up the other torches. I think there was one in the bag on the other side. I still can't believe this happened, man. What... What a crazy way to, to do this horde. Other than that, it wasn't a bad horde. There really wasn't too much going on. Got another one right here. There we go. Some vitamins. Nothing much in there. We'll definitely come back and start breaking a bunch of this down, which is just kind of free iron that we can definitely use to put in our forge, which will help out a lot. Other than that, that's the end of today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Day 7 horde complete. Day 8 begins. Definitely not bad for the first horde, and it is morning time. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next episode, 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. We'll definitely get further into this playthrough and have a good time with some of the new buildings and different areas that we can go into real soon. I'll see you guys in the next video.